I'm munching on an apple here that it's a yellow apple. It's hard, but it's rotten inside. Hmm. Do you believe that? Tearing that down. So if they tear that down, it's going to be big enough for a assisted living senior citizen, uh, that type of thing, of maybe a dozen. Also depends on how high they go, but figure uh, they could probably fit more. <clears throat> Six, twelve, eighteen. Yeah, they could probably fit eighteen easily. if they're coming next door or not. As one piece of property. For instance, our house and property well, our house and properties. There's two properties in the back. So there's one property the house is on which is a big hunk of property. That goes back and over. And then there's the other piece of property, so, and they're adjoined. So between the two properties, there's enough property there to build three houses. and have a, a small yard. You know, comfortable yard. For each one. However, mm-hmm. There's a however. Because the second parcel doesn't have any doesn't have any frontage to the street. There's no access. It's kind of landlocked, so to speak. And because of that, they count the frontage of my property as that, making my frontage too small. this apple when I'm eating around a bunch of rot. The apple rotted before I had a chance to ripen.
probably going to be a lot of that. Because there's tons of containers out there. I forgot the name of the website. You have to pay for it if you want full ability. But if you just want to see what's going on, day by day, not actual time, real time. I don't know. I really don't know what I do then because, you know, I can understand the ones that don't want to take it. But I can also understand if you're working in a nursing home and your chances of passing it on are greater. And if you get one infected, then you know there's going to be more. So I can kind of agree with the government on that part of the coin. But on the other side of the coin, I can say, well, you know, if they don't want to take it, you know, they shouldn't be forced into it. Well, they're not. They're just not going to be able to work. You know, well, that's kind of forcing into it as well, because are they going to give you unemployment? And your job is there. I mean, this just opens up a whole lot of worms. I don't believe they can't get somebody nowadays wanting to go down to the docks and unload these ships and get them in and out because you got perishables that are going to be going bad. So that means these people that bought these things, because they've already bought and paid for them, you know, when they put it on the ship to bring it here from China or wherever it's coming from, uh, it's already paid for. China got their money. So now, if it gets here rotten, it's not their fault. So now the people have money out that they can't, rec that they can't recoup. So what's going to happen? The next shipment's going to go up. Or they're not going to want to bring it in, which causes a shortage. You know, I don't know why the government doesn't think of this stuff. Well, half the time they do. They're just looking sometimes to create these problems. If you remember years ago, well, it's still happening. But it's not happening as much. The race card. 
whenever the government wanted to sneak behind your back and do something, which is all the time, they would start the race card. And, and that was it. Al Sharp Sharpton, or whatever his name was, uh, he was making six digits a year off the government. They were paying him to do what he does. I mean, come on, you're paying somebody to, to incite riots, basically, you know? I mean, it's crazy. But meanwhile, well, that was new. Um, like I said, it's one of those things to where that's what they would do. So now what? Oh, they put the roundabout in, see how it's gonna work. I used to be able to just go straight. Now I gotta go around, about, which means everybody has to heal, and everybody's gotta wait for everybody. I think this is a waste of money. I really do. You can tell that they already made it too small because there's tire marks all over it, and we have all kinds of pileups here. That was the dumbest thing to do. wanted to waste that kind of money and put a roundabout in. That is really dumb. For there anyway. Well, they fixed that spot. That's cool. Alright. Okie dokie. Where do I want to park? No, I don't want to park in the pickup. And I'm going to back in because I don't feel like walking around. I never know what I'm going to buy when I go in here. Oh, and I took my mask out. Where? Where'd I put it? I don't remember. Oh, shit. I gotta find out where my mask is. <sighs> oh, I know where it is. It's home. I brought it home. Well, I got one of these I can wear. All right. 